in this video I will be giving you tips on what you can do if you are a student right now and you want to make sure you're gonna get the career that you desire just after you graduate. Hello, my name is Marketa, I'm a recruiter and a career coach and on this channel, Solid Career, I give you advice and tips that will help you to get the career that you dream of. Today's topic is very close to my heart because these steps that I'm gonna walk you through today has really helped me in the first few years of my career. All the tips I'm going to give you right now are actually things I have done myself so I can really tell you all of these things even from my experience, not just as an experience as a recruiter. The thing is that now when I'm looking back, I'm realizing how much more they are valuable than I was realizing it in that time when I was actually doing that. So right now, from the perspective of me as a recruiter, when I see a resume or CV, that just shows me that the person is a fresh graduate. I don't know anything about the person. The person in that moment doesn't give me any added value, even though it might be the best person in the world, but I will not be able to see it from just the profile. The same is with the hiring managers. When they see a CV like that, they don't really know what to think about it. How will they recognize what the person actually will be like in the job? What I see that I that I myself personally really like when I see on CV or, and I, and I also see how much the hiring managers love it because again, there is an added value if, if the person has different experience than just the school itself. It doesn't necessarily have to be throughout the whole time of your studies, but if it is at least like the last year of studies, it can help, help, help you so much. Now, let's have a look at what it is next to your school that you actually uh, could do that could benefit you later on when you're searching for a new job. Number one, you can join a student organization. That is something that I've done. I've told it, I totally loved it. There are so many benefits of joining a student organization. You need to learn super, super quickly. Most of the time, because the, the, the turnover in a student organization is so quick, because obviously people are there uh, not so much long term, only in the time when they are studying. So very quickly, you're given a role and you super quickly need to understand what is it that you need to do and you usually are the only one responsible because everyone is doing so many other things that they cannot you know, really take your hand and walk you through uh, all of the processes. So you need to learn so quickly and this will get you prepared for um, a job at some point so well. And when you are actually at a job interview later on, you have topics to talk about. You can right away tell them what were the challenges you have, you overcame uh, when you were doing that, what were the things that you organized, did you already lead a team and so on. Who has that from freshly graduated people? Who has that? I personally was a member of ISEC, which is actually the largest student organization in the world, but there are so many different types and they all really vary about what is it that your interests are. Um, it can be a local uh, school magazine, right? It can be whatever is the thing. It's just something that just look in, in your campus, look at what, what is it something that really inspires you, that could really challenge you and you could find there a good opportunity for you to grow. Another part of why this is amazing is that you are going to meet like-minded people. I cannot stress enough how amazing it is most of my really good friends right now are still from the time when I was at ISAC, when I was at that organization. Because it's people, in a way, if you are someone who joins this, this program because you want to grow, you want to um, meet people like that, so are they. And they will be your partners in crime. With that, with that you will grow your network and it can actually be people who potentially can later on help you uh, get a job they might be in a different organization than you and they might get to connect you with people so don't take this lightly it's a certain type of people who join organizations like that and then <laughs> later on it's usually the people who really have influence have power have connections and you all came from this beginning together and you will have a tight bond that cannot be broken Another possibility is that you can get a part-time job. Um, now, a lot of uh, my uh, peers back then when I was studying, especially guys, I would say, uh, they were getting part-time jobs that, uh, sure, they were getting nice money, uh, but very often it was like a labor work and uh, it was kind of like, yeah, I don't need to think about it, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's cool, you will get the money, but from my, my suggestion would be, and from my point of view, what I have done and I have benefited greatly uh, for that, was that I actually became a temporary receptionist 
in really big companies. I have joined back then a recruitment agency called Ronstadt, but I know that depending on where you are in the world, it's going to be a different agency. Um, Ronstadt is in many countries, so you might check if uh, there's one in your area. You might also check, check Adeco, you might check Hayes. Usually big agencies like that, you can be employed through them uh, in uh, big companies for like temporary positions. I would highly, highly recommend that. A, you make money, right? You don't usually make that in student organization. Here you can. B, you can choose the times when you're working. So this uh, is especially great when you know that you have a busy period at school and also some people are not so busy and you can really work more. This was something that was benefiting me greatly. I cannot really stress it enough. And another amazing part about it is that I was kind of realizing, but not really fully realizing in the moment when I was doing that, was that throughout the time when I was actually working in uh, for, for Runstad at this at that time, I have changed so many different companies where I was for, for a few days, few weeks, or even months sometimes as a temporary receptionist. And these were really big firms. This could be uh, companies like uh, Dell, Xerox, American Express, Philip Morris, SAP, Expedia. I was actually even working uh, for Louis Vuitton at some point. Uh, these companies will teach you so much. You might necessarily not get so deep uh, within the companies because in some companies I spent maybe just like three days, right? Because they just needed a temporary receptionist because their receptionist was sick or went for holidays, whatever it is. But yeah, you get to know people and it's possible that somebody will see that you are actually working well, they will want to stay in touch with you and then they will want to hire you later on for a company. That's one thing. Second, you will learn very quickly how to dive deep super, super fast into something that you don't know how to do. Because let's be honest, usually you come to a reception like that, nothing is really prepared for you. And then right away people come to you. Nobody cares really that you're a temporary reception. They don't know who you are. And they right away come with requests. Call me this person, do this for me, book me this trip, do, do this for me. And you're like, I just got here. <laughs> But very quickly you realize that yeah, that's not really the answer. You really need to you need to do your stuff and you will learn how to really open up all of your channels in your head and just make things happen. Another thing that was amazingly great about that is that the more I was changing these companies, the more I was understanding the company the company's atmosphere when I walk there. This is something that I, it's kind of like a sixth sense, you know, but suddenly you're like, you've just walked in somewhere and you're like, I don't like the vibe here. Or the opposite, like the vibe here is kind of like, I am feeling it. And this is something that you cannot fully explain, but the more experience you have, the more you're going to start understanding this. And if you're going to be somewhere and you hate the vibe, you know you're there, you're there for three days, so you don't really care, right? It's way better to learn these things before you actually start officially working somewhere in the long run and then being then, then feeling like you're stuck in this, this uh, company, stuck in this position. Oof. You learn all of this so amazingly. Actually, this really came back to me because years after this, I was actually offered to apply for a job in one of the companies I have worked in. I'm not gonna say if I mentioned the company or not. <laughs> and I knew that the atmosphere were there like so bad. I had really not good experience there that I was like, okay, right away, no, I know that this is not the type of company I want to work in. It's just so amazing how much these things teach you, whether you even realize it in that moment or not. So imagine how much you can learn. I was working for Randstad for like three or four years, again, on and off, depending on when I was available, depending on when I wanted actually to work. And in this time, I have changed maybe like 15 companies. I cannot even, I cannot even explain to you how much that has taught me. And this is what I think is very important, right? For very often, especially when you're a first graduate, you feel like you don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. And you're just gonna, you're just hoping that someone will employ you. But it's not just about that because you need to understand what is important for you, what are your values and what is the type of company that you want to work for. Do you realize that you want to um, be in a big corporate or do you want to, do you prefer a small, a small startup? Do you want to be in rather in a tech company because that's the vibe that you're vibing with 
or do you want to be more i don't know let's say in fashion right understanding what it is but you need to find this for yourself and i feel like it's so much better to be able to find this throughout the time when you're studying so i myself actually even started with recruitment when i was studying right i started in ISET. i honestly started it totally randomly i just applied for something and i don't know what it is it just sounded good i didn't understand at all that it's recruitment but here we go all those years later here i am so let me know if this was helpful i really really hope so if you have any question feel free to uh, to leave it in the comments or just connect with me on Instagram and send me a direct message with any question or comments. You can find me at Life of Marketa. And I also hope that you generally will like uh, this channel. This is one of my first videos here. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I will be so happy uh, to have you here and have this family growing. And until next time, bye-bye.